Hey everybody, it is May the 2nd and today I found myself like getting irritated with people. Uh, you get up to do something and then, you know, and people can irritate you, people can make you mad, people disappoint us. We're humans and that's the thing about humans, we're always doing stuff wrong. Like, you know, just stupid stuff like, okay, I'm 49 years old and when I'm working outside, my mom's like, now you should have a hat on. It'll be better. Thank you. Or, you know, you shouldn't take a shower till you're done sweating. You're just going to keep sweating. I'm like, I, I understand how things happen, you know, but, and I can get so snippy, <laughs> you know, telling me the obvious when, you know, the reason she does it is not just to irritate me, maybe a little bit, maybe. But mostly, it's because she loves me, and she wants to be relevant, and she wants to help, you know. But there have been times that I've seen ugliness in people. Um, my first church that I went to that I think I really became a Christian, uh, after I was there, 10 years? No, maybe more. It split. That was the ugliest thing I had ever seen as a Christian church, a Baptist church, the people going at each other. It was probably one of the most horrible experiences in my life. Um, I've seen parents who like my dad was an alcoholic and, you know, my parents got divorced when I was three and he came around not so often, but you know, for our birthdays, he'd always take us out and there's a birthday. He just leave me standing. So people disappoint us. And we are mean and we do these things over and over and over again. And so, and I, and I get irritated because I'm selfish too. And I'm like, you know, I'm 49. I can, I know what I need to do. And just go put on a hat, <laughs> you know? So as I'm reading tonight, this kind of occurs to me. Uh, I'm in to Psalm 103 now and like Psalm 103 10 and 14 actually kind of I was reading through all of it but these just really stood out to me Psalm 103 10 he God he does not deal with us according to our sins nor repay us for our iniquities aren't we glad for that and then into 14 for he knows our frame he remembers we are dust you know God knows we're human and think God, he does, because we could never live up to who he is. That's why we need a savior. And I'm just glad he's more patient with me than I am with everyone else. Um, and vice versa. Yeah. So as people are being people, especially now as people are living in houses together and don't go out as much and they're really with the people that they're living with uh, a whole lot more and you can't get away as easily. Tempers can flare. People can get irritated. People can say or do things that they, well, they might mean it, but they shouldn't mean it. <laughs> you know, do things that are wrong. After all, we're just dust. So it's something to kind of keep in mind as we go through these days. And um, I'm glad that, like I said, God's pretty patient with me. So that's where I found him today in patience. Um, and I am glad for that. So I don't know where you're looking for him today, but keep looking. He's there. He wants you to. He seeks you out. It's important to him. Isn't it nice to know the God of the universe thinks you're important? That's worth seeking, if nothing else. So keep at it.